definitely freaking out a little bit. Sunglasses working for you. You look cool. Yeah, I don't like to look cool. <laughs> the sun is out, so we're starting to dry out, get a little bit warmer, which is nice. And we're the only ones on the whole river right now, which is also That's nice. True. Well, after what was a, uh, it was a pretty good sail. We came 15 kilometers, but because it's a river and you have to tack all the way here, it was probably, we actually sailed 30-ish kilometers if I had to guess. Okay, Dave, what's on for dinner tonight? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> we have pasta oh. with a jarred sauce. From Costco. Mm. And veggie balls from Ikea. <laughs> I think we're going to move into the bay a little teeny bit. Which means we'll get out of the waves. Should there be any waves in the night? Since there's no one here, why wouldn't you do that? But first, the galley wench is going to do the dishes. Do the dishes. Fun. The fun stuff. Well, we moved 100 meters or so from over there to in here. And it actually is quite a nice spot. Well, it's 3 a.m. in the morning and it seems to be a party is broken out on shore. Well, despite the lousy forecast, we decided to keep going. We're going to try and get up to Moore Island because we haven't been there yet this year. Deal with the weather as it comes. It's looking nasty down towards Moore Island. No one else on the river. We saw one boat going the other way. There's one boat down there. fellow left pennies this morning. He too apparently heard the ABBA singing and he didn't seem that happy about it. <laughs> Although I have to admit they weren't terrible singers. No they <laughs> weirdly they weren't. <laughs> Maybe it was the cast of Glee. <laughs> yeah it's like they've done that before. Yeah. The bane is up. Because it's 50 years old, I don't like to put it up if it's too windy. Just exactly what too windy is, we don't know. One of the many joys of sailing on an inland river is that it's always interesting weather-wise. Especially with the hills over there. I think they must affect the weather because an hour ago we were on the same point heading the same direction on about a close reach but on the other tack and now we're tacking up the river so five minutes ago we were tacking up the river and now we're on starboard tack oh famous last words I should have knocked on wood and heading straight up that may have been 
apparently this is a place to be for Canada Day. Starboard! So we've come down below and Carla didn't sleep that well because of the ABBA people. So if the firecrackers start, we'll get up and watch them. Well, Kyla's traded in her kayak for a paddleboard, which is a lot easier to get on, so I don't imagine we're having any splashing today. Although yesterday we were using it as a swim platform, and I dumped her in, and she lost her sunglasses, so... Oops. Somebody's not very happy with somebody else. That's a beautiful belly. Well, the wind's come up since we uh, left to go on our paddles, so I think when we get back, it's time to go. Well, the going's good. Classic Ottawa River fashion, we've had everything from two knots to totally becalmed to probably 20 knots. Now it's settled in, I'm guessing somewhere between all around 10 maybe. What would you say, dear? Are you having a good day? Despite not having sunglasses? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Take that back, we're totally becalmed. And not to be damned. So we're probably about a third of the way home. I don't know what time it is, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much. It's 12:40. So it's taken us probably three hours to get to here. We got another six hours to go. Maybe it'll fill in and be consistent. That's all I ask for is a bit of consistency. Maybe know? we'll turn the engine on. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, just to round it out. Now we've got some rain. We do have wind though. A bit of wind. Knock on wood. Did say it was supposed to rain, so we can't be totally pissed off. 